Groupers, happy Easter. Um, because it is Easter after all, and we're probably all bogging into our chocolate eggs, I thought today would be the perfect day to do a chocolate inspired makeup video. Now, this is actually an idea of Pony Cooters, so I cannot take credit for this. Thanks, Pony. Great idea. Um, and it's perfectly fitting for this time of year and it's also massively on trend at the moment you cannot go wrong with chocolate makeup um, in fact we have a how-to video that I think was up last week and that's all about brown makeup and chocolate makeup but I'm going to kind of reinforce that today by doing a little how-to for you guys with my Kerry Russell inspired top knot um, so I've prepped my skin already with my foundation and my concealer and I'm going to actually start by just doing a little bit of bronzer now I'm going to skip the brush blush for this look. I don't think we need that pink on the cheeks. It's all very sun-kissed with this and then quite beautiful black brown eyeshadow and a brown lip is what I'm going to do. So this is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in Barley Brown. A beautiful chocolate shade for you there Primpers and it's got gold illuminating particles in it. So I'm just going to apply it just like I always apply my brush, my bronzer sorry, with big brush starting at the cheeks working up then across my hairline and down a little down the ridge of my nose and then along my jawline down here did I say jawline up there? I meant hairline I can't remember what I said but I'm thinking I said jawline which obviously is completely wrong um, so just kind of really blend that in and as you can see, you kind of just get that sun-kissed look on the high points of your face. You don't really want to take bronzer all over your face, even though it might have looked like I just did. It's kind of well positioned under the cheekbones, down the ridge of your nose and underneath rather than kind of covering your face with it because then it just looks completely unnatural and we don't want that. So that's my complexion done. Now I am going to apply a brown eyeliner. So this is the Maybelline Line Express in bronze. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the in, inner rim. And I'll step back a bit because I know I normally cut my head off here, which is not good primpers. So just apply that to the lower lash line. Now take it up. I like taking it onto the upper inner lash line as well. I just think when you can pair those two eyes, it's just quite subtle, but it just adds a little bit of depth there. So I'm going to do that too. And you could do that with black, brown. I do that every day with my makeup. And then just on the top line as well. doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be blending it anyway. So just kind of, just so that you've got a bit of a line there. Good one. Okay. Pop that on. Next I'm going to move on to my shadow. So this is the Clarins Mono Colour in Hot Chocolate. Very chocolatey, yum, hot chocolate. How good are Max Brenner's hot chocolate? Speaking of which, that's totally an Easter treat, I reckon. Yum. Anyway, Primpers, I'm going to apply this brown colour over my entire upper eyelid. So it's quite dark when you get it on, but that's fine because we've got some other colours just to break it down a bit and add some depth. So take it just above. I've started taking my colour just above the crease. And just make sure it's really well blended on the inside. Just above, which means that when your eyes open, you still get a bit of that colour, which is really what we want. And on the other side. Now, at this point in time, we're just kind of getting the colour on there. And we're just going to make sure it's all perfectly blended in a minute. And also with these kind of dark colours, same with black, brown, bronze, whatever, always start with less product and build it up rather than getting as much on your brush, brush as possible and then going quite hard. But these Clarins ones are actually great because they've got really good pigment so you don't need much at all in order for it to go on. Okay, so that brown colour is on, ready to go. Um, you know what I might also do while we're here? Let me just try and open this, sorry, I can't. I want to just take a little bit underneath. I'm going to take get a little bit more on the brush and just take it underneath. Just a touch and only halfway across, just like that. And again, halfway in. If you start getting the colour inside here, it just makes your eyes, it kind of looks like you've got dark circles and it makes your eyes look smaller and closer together. You want the lighter colours on the inside. 
So next I'm going to apply the MAC eyeshadow and it's the colour is Banshee and it's if you have a close look it's got little illuminating particles in it and it's this beautiful kind of chocolatey pinky colour in it, it's almost blush. So I'm going to grab that, put that on my brush, swirl it around and I'm going to apply that on the outer corners and blend it all the way up. Now this just adds a little bit of fun. I love anything metallic, as all you guys know. So this kind of colour, just over the top of that matte brown, just for me, just gives it a bit more zing, which I like. And it's really subtle, so I'm hoping that you guys can kind of see it in that light. Now if you want, you can take a little bit of that just underneath where you kind of stopped the other colour so that you're working, you're matching the top to the bottom, which is always what you should do. So you've got the darker on the outside, then just put a little bit of this in the middle of the lower lash line. And then we've got a beautiful kind of dusty pink that works in really well with this for the inners. And then you can put that on the upper and the outer, upper and the bottom, whatever. I'm about to show you anyway. So that one is just applied to the outside there. Now this is another Clarins mono colour and the colour is Pink Frost. So let me show you. That's the colour there. So as you can see, it's a little bit... Um, I don't know, I guess it's a bit dusty, but it just works in really well with these chocolate shades. So again, get a little bit out on your brush. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corners, top and bottom. So really blend that in there. And as you can see, when you compare the two eyes, it just opens it up instantly. So just make sure it's really well blended. But I'm a huge fan of having those beautiful lighter shades on the inner corner. And then again... On the other eye. I don't tend to, I mean I guess I do wear browns and I do wear bronzes, always wear bronze on my eye, it's like a bronzy brown, but when you go for these true chocolate shades it's actually really quite beautiful, I really like that. Now you can also take uh, that dusty pink, this shade, and if you like you can just apply it up here under your brows, I'm actually getting my brows done this weekend there in need of a little bit of a do so don't mind them they're a bit unkept but you can just kind of blend that in there we go pimpers perfect now over the top of that I've got the max factor lash extension effect mascara and this color is black brown so you still kind of get the depth of the black mascara but it's got a little bit of brown in it so it just ties back in with the eye makeup and it's also great for daytime so that's the color there and I'm just going to apply that to my lashes All right, Primper, so that's the eyes done. Now I'm just going to go in. This is the Makeup Store Tri Brow Palette, one of my favorite products, actually. And I'm just going to fill in my brows a bit, just to make them a bit darker. So just grab a brush and add a bit of color to those. Come on, guys. OK, so now for the lips. I have got this beautiful YSL Rouge Velopt, um lippy and the shade here says 28 but it's a brown brown I'll, I'll have a look on the box and I'll caption it properly here <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful brown color and it's very chocolatey so there's the color and I think it would tie in really well with the eye makeup here so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that now just looking at uh, my reflection in this light, I'm just going to add a little bit more bronzer. Now that I've done my eyes, I think it's always better. If you do your complexion first and just start lightly and then you do your eyes and your lips, you might need to add more just because, you know, if you start off light, that's the best way to go. So I'm just going to go back and just add a little bit more warmth to my cheeks. I think everywhere else is fine. Just a little bit more there. Uh, maybe a little bit more on my forehead as well. And I think that that is good, Primpers. Anyway, Primpers, this is my happy Easter chocolate-inspired makeup look. I hope you all like it. And once again, have an awesome long weekend. I know that I will. Um, I'm off to eat some chockey. Bye.